This is part five of the video series, ECU Service Tool Creation. This section will document the steps to create the service tool from the .mod file created in the ECU backbone step. Values of RAM and parameters will be viewed. So we have HF Impulse opened up on the screen that you can see. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a file new ECU XXX ECU XXX. We're going to be able to launch the ECU to backbone, ECU backbone to HF impulse converter. I'm going to open a mod file. As you may recall, the mod file is what we created in uh, the step one or this, the first video. So I'm going to go find it. HF presentations. mod file that was created today. Okay. From here, I can see things, control parameters that we had set up, monitor parameters, you know, the control parameters are ones that will actually be able to change the values on online, where it's monitors or just things that we'll be able to read, any proprietary vaults, and a security that we have added to the system. Okay. So from there, we've seen that that information has come in. I'm going to go ahead and export this configuration, which will create an ICF file. So once again, I'm, I'm calling everything the same name, simple program. Get rid of the dot mod. Enter. Okay. Now we can close this. No need to save. And then open the new ICF file. Okay. When I hit log on, we can see in the lower right hand corner, we've got communications with the controller. So we can see real live values of the variables now. So I can see different values. Any active faults we have, any fault history, communication, we've seen that screen before. And then chart recorder. So we have the ability to be able to monitor four different variables. So if we selected voltage value of pins and voltage of the current of the solenoid, the nice thing is right now we've got um, auto scaling turn on. I can turn that off and say, okay, I really want my max value, the voltage value would be 5,000. The minimum is zero, so it changes our range. Okay, so when I change the voltage, okay, um, same thing down here, I can leave it as the current, and right now it's at 313. Uh, or I could change that. I could say, okay, I really want the value to be 1200 to 200. Okay. We can see those values moving. All right. All right. Something else over here, I can um, stop charting and export my chart data into a CSV file. So I call the, the name data, just call it data. And then I can go open a, an Excel file and open up data. I'm doing this on the other screen right now. So bear with me for a second. Let's go try something else. All files. There it is, data. If I bring that in so you can look at it. So we've got data on all four of our inputs and the values and a, and a time and date stamp. So then you could 
send that to whoever's trying to troubleshoot your machine for you or that you're trying to troubleshoot your machine with. Okay. So we've looked at all the other tabs. All right. Okay. This concludes the last video for the ECU simple file creation.